Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo and with me is my lovely wife. Composite Energy. That, that's right, hopefully you're able to hear in the background. So yeah, today's review is going to be on the Transformers Cyberverse Core Class. Not fan of the name, but Core Class, uh, Dracodon. And here he is in his alt mode, which is a bright green, almost radioactive one might say. Bright green with gold accents. Uh... Fossil, like like a skeleton fossil, a skeleton, how do I say this? A fossilized skeleton of a Dracorex dinosaur. For those of you who don't know, a Dracorex is in the same family as a Pachycephalosaurus, and for those who don't know what that is, it's the dinosaurs that butt heads. Jane, do you know what I'm talking about? Vaguely. Vaguely. It, if you, okay, did you ever see The Land Before Time? Okay, in the very beginning of the movie, it was the two... I, man, what did they call them in the movie? The, the uh, boneheads? The chrome domes? I don't remember what they called them. But it was the two dinosaurs that would, that, would, that would ram each other and headbutt each other. Yes, this dinosaur is in that general family. But it's a little bit smaller, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that's what this is. Nice. It's kind of neat that they use, the, uh, they use an obscure dinosaur within, within an, an obscure dinosaur. So that's what this fossil is. Now he is not a fossilizer. You can't really take him. He can't. He's not like his the other deluxe class fossil uh, transformers, which are known as fossilizers. He's not that because he doesn't really separate and become weapons and armors for other characters. No, he's more of a standard transformer. It's weird how only this mold is the only one that does it, and I say that because um, Drake down here is a repaint. Of Vertebrake, who was part of the first wave of core uh, core figures, which he was just more like of a dull, dark, and brownish color, more like I guess older bones. They made this one radioactive green for some reason. Well, what do you think of the color? I don't like it. Yeah, it's that weird green. I like the gold accents, but why why this bright green? <laughs> I mean, this will probably be fine on Devastator, but like not. <laughs> Not on the fossil. Seriously, where did this come from? Oh, well, here he is, and he's kind of neat. Kind of neat. He's very small. Uh, core class, I guess, is the equivalent of, like, a Legion class, which um, we'll get to later with size comparisons. So, yeah, uh, but since he has a... Technically, since this is technically a beast mode, I get to show off some articulation. Head can move up and down. The mouth can... The mouth can... <laughs> You okay? All right. The mouth can open, and he does have some molded in like teeth in there. I don't know if you can see it, but does have teeth. It's there. Arms do not move, sadly, but legs have a ball joint, a bend, and a ball joint at the foot. Tail you can kind of swivel, but that's more for because of transformation. So yeah, he has some articulation. And he's kind of neat. Uh, any thoughts on his uh, beast mode? Well, air quotes beast mode. Um, Besides the color, because we we know we know we don't we know you don't like the color. Okay. Um. He looks like I don't know. Like he looks like vicious, but like kind of strong. Well, it it, it is a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so vicious and scrawny. It, it makes sense. So let's get on with transformation, which starts off by removing his tail. This becomes his weapon later, so let's put it off to the side. Wow. <laughs> and then we stand him up. For those, for any uh, old school Beast Wars uh, fans, you 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 probably know this method already. It's mainly known for Cheetor. Uh, just stand him up. Let's see, open him up. Pull forward the arms. Uh, fold arm out. Fold arm out. So he is pretty simple. Uh, lift up this back flap, then rotate this around, and then rotate out the helmet, like so. Bring that down. It should softly click into place, then bring out the helmet, fold that back. And there we have Dracodon, Vertebrake's radioactive twin, in his robot mode. And it's it's all right. 
All right, he's got a face. Can't. Hold on, let's, uh, there we go. He's small, so yeah, there's a good shot of his face, since he's actually a pretty small figure. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, he has his weapon, which, in a weird way, he can store by having these spines peg into here. <sighs> Where is it? There's like a certain spot where these three specific spines can like peg into. There we go. So yeah, that's interesting. That's one way to store it. But when you're not storing it, you can just hold it in his hand. And there, he has a little bone sword, which is his tail. Again, any Beast Wars fans out there, this is very, very common. So take off his weapon, show off some articulation. Head is indeed on a ball joint, which is nice. He's a little restricted because of his tusks here on his face. But yeah, he got articulation. I like that his eyes are painted. Just notice that. He got blue painted eyes. Uh, let's see. Arms are on ball joints. Elbow is also on a ball joint. Legs have the same articulation. Ball joint, ball joint, and a hinge. And yeah, for such a small figure, he's pretty decently articulated. And like I said, the weapon can hold in, in either hand. So there you go. I'm going to store it on his back by just plugging it in there. And yeah, so, uh, Jane, what do you think of his robot mode? Cool. Cool? Don't wait to <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait. For <laughs> I wonder what your reaction will be when you see the, the Titan Devastator. Or the Titan G1 Devastator. You'll definitely hate that highlighter green. I certainly do, but figure's awesome. So yeah, let's do some size comparisons. Here we have a Deluxe Ratchet. And here we have Legion Cliff Jumper. As you can see, he's only slightly bigger than him. So I would equate this to being closer to a Commander class? Not the new Commander class, which is ridiculously overpriced. But what used to be called Commander Class around the around the sort of Beast Hunters era, which was bigger than a Legion but smaller than a Deluxe. So what was it? What was it? What was it originally like a Legends Class? I guess this is a this is like a weird middle middle area. Yeah, overall he's a pretty he's a pretty okay figure, pretty decent. It's a bit too small for my liking, and it is weird how this this specific fossil doesn't like separate i don't get the point of this one and they did nothing else so yeah i don't get why they just had the one mold and then they repainted once and then they did nothing with it this almost felt like an afterthought or they had some ideas and then it just got canceled or something i don't know i don't know what hasbro or takara were thinking with this one but he's all right so yeah overall he's a pretty decent figure a bit small but pretty decent so yeah, any final thoughts, Jane? He's decent, I guess. Ah, ah, ah. Exactly. So yeah, uh, this has been our review of the Transformers King, the Transformers Kingdom uh, core class, Dracodon. And this is both Composite Energy and... Composite Energy. Signing off. Peace. Peace out.